I was going to sing Sex Bomb, Sex Bomb, Baby, You're a Sex Bomb, but uh, I thought I wouldn't uh, put you through that pain. So, uh, yeah, give this video a like. <laughs> And welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben, and this is my review for Netflix's original series called Sexify. To build an innovative sex app and win a tech competition, a sexually inexperienced student and her friends must explore the daunting world of intimacy. Eight episodes ranging from about 37 minutes to 50 minutes, the episode times are all over the place, as is the story of this series. It does remind me a lot of uh, the Netflix series Sex Education. Uh, and I didn't mind this. I mean, if you're squeamish about sex on screen, you're probably not going to enjoy this. I mean, the opening scene um, is a pair of boobs. Uh, someone having sex, I think. That's what I remember. The opening scene is a pair of boobs. There are, there's a lot of sex and profanity. Obviously, it's about the sex app, but it's not sex. It's about women... Uh, orgasms and women getting to know themselves so that their relationships in their lives can actually stand a chance at being fruitful um, and I like the idea that they first start off as these three young women that come together to build this to build a future for themselves and as they go along they start knowing themselves more and it starts helping their relationships and starts helping them understand who they are as people and we do have a complete fruition story here so that it, it feels like they've come to an end but they could easily do a second season. So that really is the synopsis. So along the way, our characters will obviously go through a journey. I think that's what keeps helping the series uh, move along at the pace it does. I would say that it feels like it's a little bit drawn out in a couple of the episodes. There is a lull. I would say in episode three and six, there's a lull that kind of goes, oh, you could move the story along. I get where you're going with this, but you don't need to drag it out that long. So I think it totally could have been six episodes instead of the eight. Um, however, I didn't mind our main, main protagonist where it starts out, starts out with because she's sexually inexperienced. Um, she's so dry when it comes to um, ex things that she hasn't experienced in the world. And so her mind is very orientated on data analytics and building this app. It wasn't even that to start with. And so as she starts delving into this world, you see how she reacts to that. And I thought her character in that world is very much like a fish out of water. I thought that was really interesting. And then we have her two friends who are dealing with relationship issues and their own issues at the same time. And so we have those three different dynamics or path lifestyles and we see how they interact with their family, um, how they react with their relationships and how our main protagonist forms a sort of relationship and how that affects uh, the college or the school that they're going to. I would say that there are a few actors in here that I don't buy that they're college students. They look... Uh, and talk and feel um, like in their acting like they're much older than they're supposed to be. And that was one of the drawbacks I had. I think there's a particular boyfriend that he just looks way older uh, than he should be. Um, although he is in military, he's in the military studying part of it, but it just felt like he was older than he should be. I'm not sure about the age. It just gave off that presence. Even our main actors, it feels like they're older than they should be. That's fine. So you put that all to a side and you kind of enjoy the story because it doesn't take itself too seriously. Now, I realize I'm probably not the demographic because I'm not a female and I'm not learning about the female orgasm. Although I would say coming from a... Um, South African Christian family being brought up. Sex was never really talked about. It was kind of hush hush. And um, you didn't talk about that unless you were uh, inside, unless it was like inside of uh, marriage. And you definitely didn't talk about it outside of it. You know, that was like taboo. And so when you get to England and you start seeing that this subject of sex is much more openly spoken about. Uh, and um, now, thankfully, I'm more mature and we can teach our kids and stuff uh, much more about sex outside of that kind of bubble. I thought this was a very interesting story because it kind of teaches, it kind of teaches a little bit about that, how some people have an idea of what it means to be sexually active and some people just don't want to talk about it. We have a college professor in this uh, school well, the dean, the head of the school, that is very kind of, mm, we don't talk about that. That is not something that we should talk about. Like women knowing themselves and they can't help any woman. You know, it's very old way of thinking. And this kind of brings it into the light. It brings it into new and it could help people. It's also very grounded in reality. So they don't just win everything. They don't 
everything just doesn't happen for them and you know life is easy you see the hardships that go along with something like that so i thought it had some pacing issues but i thought the story was there and the characters themselves are likable i think the three main protagonists act really well there's a few weak links that i'm not going to mention and say i didn't like their acting i just thought they they weren't as good as some of the others i thought the scripting was fairly comedic which it needed because it didn't take itself too seriously um it was enjoyable so there were dramatic moments there were deep character moments where they were starting to figure out who they were starting to figure out uh what they uh, felt about the you know life in general so while they're trying to figure out this kind of like what does a woman like it's more than just the orgasm of the woman it's more like what does bring me joy and what is my orgasm of life if that makes sense they start working it out and realizing it's not just like your sexual organs but your brain um your emotions all of that is connected and i thought it actually had a decent theme so if you start working that out and you start mixing that into your own relationship sorry i've gone off on a tangent here then that works well and i thought they were trying to get that theme off um and it came across quite well to a 40 year old dude who's not the target audience i think if you are the target audience you're probably going to enjoy this let me know in the comments below as a reviewer and um a guy who reviews all netflix stuff i kind of sometimes fall into the category of this is not really for me but i'm going to watch it anyway and let you know what i felt about it from my limited experience although i have been married 20 20 years and through lots of communication with my wife we've come to an understanding what woman do like kind of although that does change a lot um so i have some experience in that i guess uh but i did find this very interesting so let me know in the comments below what you thought about this series uh that was hard to talk about uh, thanks so much for watching this review i'm gonna give this a b i thought it was enjoyable uh let me know in the comments below my voice is going higher um what you thought about this but most of all until next time remember live long tuesday